Hi everyone, Miss Boston here with another book talk for you. So this week we are going to be talking about We're Not From Here by Jeff Rodkey, which we have in the library. And this is one of our March Madness books for 2019-2020. Um, this is science fiction. You can see our label on the side there. And if you like sci-fi at all, I think you're going to love this book. It's um, it explores some topics that are kind of hard, but it's also hilarious the way that it's written. So what's going on in the story is the main character's name is Lan, and Lan's family is one of the few families to escape from Earth because in the future, the human race has destroyed the planet. So a few people escape to Mars, and they're kind of living in this colony trying to figure out where to go. They're kind of like space refugees because they have a limited amount of food and fuel and they have nowhere to go. This is a huge problem. So they find this planet called Chum and there are four different species of aliens that live on this planet and they talk it over and the aliens are worried because they're like, human beings are pretty violent. You like destroyed your entire planet. That's the problem. And the humans are like, no, we're not violent. We've evolved. We can do better. We're going to contribute to your society. Please take us in because they're desperate. Problem is humans are kind of historically violent. So this is kind of hard. <laughs> um, so they end up all the people that decide they want to try living on this new planet, some don't. Some want to go back to Earth. Some want to try for a different planet. So the ones that decide they want to go, they get packed into biosuspension pods so that they can kind of sleep and they won't age at all because it takes 20 human years to get to this new planet from where Earth is and from where Mars is. Because it takes 20 human years to get to Chum from Mars. So they wake up and 20 years later and the government has changed since they had these conversations with this planet and they have decided that humans are no longer welcome and please go away which is a huge problem because they are out of fuel and don't really have anywhere else to go that can sustain life for them so they're kind of the last hope to preserve the human race um, so after a lot of begging and negotiating they end up deciding that the humans can send one family down to the planet to live and see if they can contribute to society and not be violent before they'll let the rest of them in. So it's really interesting because the humans have become the aliens now and there are four species. So there's one called the jury which is on the cover of the book Reflections, and they kind of look like giant mosquitoes that walk around but they're very intelligent. There is um, the Aurora who look like giant blue marshmallows and there are the crick, which are like green werewolf kind of creatures with razor sharp teeth that kind of look and sound terrifying. Um, but luckily they have these translator screens so they can understand each other. I highly recommend the audiobook of this and that will be available on Destiny and in Audible because they have different voice signatures that they assign to each alien. And so that just makes it even more hilarious to hear it on the audiobook. But, um, Give it a chance. If you like it, talk to me about it because I'm super excited to talk to people about this book. It's in the library. It's in Destiny to put on hold. Thanks for listening and until the next book, have a great day.